Okay, so it's been a few days since I've started this, and I think at this point I want to go and work into the foam of the wave. The wave will be kind of a shadowy magenta shade down here. It'll be kind of warm in the middle and around the outside. I'll have a little bit of uh, magenta and a little bit of hands of yellow orange mixed in, and it'll have a really nice soft transition or at least that's what I'm going to aim for. Now I'll bring some of that up into here. So this is not going to be a pure white and it's a little bit of an off-white. This way I can keep layering my whites on top of it and build volume to that shape. I'll bring some of this over into here. And this may change throughout the painting. Might throw a little bit of ultramarine into here. I'm going to kind of muddy it up. That's okay. Once I get everything covered, I'll be able to see where I'll need to adjust everything. There's going to be a hazy kind of quality going on over here. You know, make that a cool, cool blue. So there'll be a little bit of ultramarine and magenta mixed into it. Magenta will keep it from getting too cold. And so what I'd like to do after I get all this laid in, I'd like to have this really soft. And so it'll be almost seamless. Okay. So I'll get all this mixed in. I'm not too worried about keeping the form exact at this point. I'll just let everything get soft as it goes out to the edges. So at this point I want to blend and I'll build up the whites a little bit in the center. I think from here I can let this sit for a while. I'll start working on the background and I'll blend the background into this whitewash here. Okay, I think I'm ready to paint into the background. This will be a little bit more cooler. It'll, there won't be a lot of contrast over here. And over here it'll be a lot warmer. So I'm going to make this transition. I'm 
from here to here. those are they are not mine yeah okay so I'm gonna blend all this in I'm gonna add a little bit more white here just to start and I may have to did make some minor adjustments here and there and that's okay. And I'll see what I'll need to do as soon as I get discovered. And so this is making a pretty nice transition over into here. some of this back over into this area. Well, a nice smooth transition. probably wants to be darkened a little bit more so I'll take some cab red a bit blue yeah, maybe a warm blue Let's see how that works and that'll help push it back Okay, while I'm painting, I try to jump all over the composition so I don't get stuck in any one area and I keep it fresh. Oh, that feels good. So I'll fill in the foreground here. This will be kind of flat beach, still a little bit of water. Going over this area. So I'll map this in real quick. This wants to be a little bit bluer over here, maybe a little bit down here. So I'll mix a little bit of ultramarine, that'll be reflecting the sky color. I will put that over here. Yeah, I think I'll blend that in.
This will give it a little bit of an interest, showing the perspective point, which would be up here somewhere. These lines would lead to it. Okay, so I'm going to block in the color of the bay back into here. Uh, keeping, keeping a general reminder of my values, what's darker, what's lighter. Get that blocked in. And I can fill that in with a brush later. And so it seems to be just a little bit darker than this up here. And I can adjust both. Okay, I'm going to gesture on the shadows of the cliff back here. It'll be just a little bit darker than this bay color. And so this will go along this area. And I'll be a little peak right here. And there's another shadow here. Cliffs are kind of climbing up this way. On the other side, it'll get darker with a shadow. I'll fill that in over here. So I'm pretty close to scumbling everything in with a brush at this point. I'll do my minor adjustments anyway. Let's see. Peak here. Capture the general shapes and go from there. And there's another shadow here. <coughs> this could be kind of kind of warm down here at the base of the cliff. Warm and dark. Same here. Okay, so I'm ready to brush in all the color into you know, the bay here. Bring this cross, have it up and meeting a little bit of foam that I have sculpted in. And I can marry that together. I can keep this edge soft. I'll make a nice transition. And help that foam appear soft. And it's going to want to be soft against the bank. And this bay color also wants to come in between the foam here. I'll set that in there. Nice and soft. The cliff can come down. And so this will kind of disappear into the foam. So keep in mind this isn't going to be the final touch. It'll get me pretty close. And this will come out this way. And out to the other side. So when you're working around this edge, you want it pretty soft. This wants to be a lot lighter. So I think I'll take a transparent blue, which will be ultramarine in this case, because I want to keep the chroma in it. Push this back. There's another rock out here. So now I have a pretty good base to work from. I can adjust everything. From here, just about have everything covered. Nothing set in stone. So for the sky, I'm going to put in a warm underpainting here. This will be a Henza yellow-orange and a magenta. It's 
It's probably not the warmest combination, but I think this would probably serve it. In this case, now it's all mapped in. There's a good start. Now we get it all softened up. Okay, so it's been quite a while since I've worked on this last. Everything is set up. So what I'm going to do is go back into these areas where I want everything soft and kind of scumbled in the color. It'll be kind of a dry brush effect here. And so at this point it'll be a little haphazard. We'll have some of the warm showing through. Uh, I'll try to get everything unified. to the shadow down here. So this will all want to be soft. So I'm pitting the blues against the oranges. Oranges are showing up here and there. It had some dynamic interest here. Okay, so it's starting to look like where I want to be going. I want some of the shadow in here. Starting to form. And I'll blend this down here. Good there. So while I'm at it, I'm going to mix some of that blue up into this area, into this mist. And I'll just keep this looking like a spray. And I might warm it up with a little hands of yellow orange. Might be a little too much, so I can always bring it back down. some of that back into here. It's looking a little bit too blue. Let's see a little bit of warmth in here. So I'll go back and forth. I'll throw some magenta on this band right here. So I want to use all my colors. Definitely want to identify them. That wants to be a little darker. That's better. So it took a lot of time blending to get everything smooth. I'll darken it even more.
Okay, so I work this up a little bit, smoothing all, all of this in here. I have some really nice smooth edges. So I think at this point I'd like to build up the contrast of the whites. And so, start by doing this. Bring a ridge crust, blend it in. So I want to break up the consistency of this. I don't want it to make it look like a round sphere. So I think I'll bring this up into here. And then fan it out. So I'll spend quite a bit of time just smoothing everything out. I definitely want to get some soft edges against hard edges.
Okay, so now I'm bringing a lot of the color back into the painting. I was getting a little flat there for a while, so you can see where I've put some real nice worms in here and there. I'm going to push this back with a little magenta. Well, actually, it may bring it forward, which is what it really needs, because it looks like this is popping a little bit too much, and that this is a separate painting. So I'm going to bring some of the magenta back into here, and see how that looks. Okay, so it's kind of working. I may lighten this up a little bit more. I don't think I'm on the right track. I might bring some of this blue in. studio okay so I'm still not settled with this area back in here it's looking to be a little bit more magenta I will put a little bit of titanium white and cad yellow it'll kind of make it chalky it's gonna lighten it quite a bit but I think I'm going to take a chance of having it too light for right now just scumble this in Take a chance. Thought so might push some cobalt blue back into this area as well, but it'll be a very light touch. I want to go slow. It'll make it a little bit green. I want to paint the atmosphere. I want to make it believable. So these are going to be fairly opaque colors. Okay. That's kind of working. I think it needed a little bit of yellow. I might do the same into the mountain. So I'm pretty much working into a dry painting so I can dry brush all the effects into here. I actually have a lot of control with it. Mm, let's see. I want to blend this in a little bit. Oh, it's looking better.
Okay, so I'm pretty close to calling this painting complete. I probably have about another three hours to go on it. Some minor things that I would adjust would be I would lighten this up a little bit more. I'd add some more blue into it. A little bit of ultramarine and zinc white. And I would probably work up this area a little bit more in here. I'll find a nice shape that works right now. It doesn't really look that refined. And also, the I'd probably work a little bit more detail into this area just to give it a feel that it's separate from this area here. It'll be a little bit more choppy here. And I might, might take a look at that. Might break this edge up a little bit more. Right in here with the shadow of the mountain, it looks a little bit straight. So anyway, I'm pretty close. Let's give it a shot. Well, here we are. The completed painting is here with this new frame. Pretty happy with it. I think we'll call it done. Thank you for watching.